What's going on everybody? So I wanted to go through and show you our setup. Um, so we'll walk this way. Uh, we have a Grand Design Imagine 2800 BH. BH is for bunkhouse. Um, so the four of us, my wife, Kaylin, uh, our two kids, seven and three, uh, they're able to kind of get in there and be comfortable, have enough space. But right now we're actually, I want to talk about what we're towing with. We're towing with a Ram 1500. Now, before, before you all, you know, out there who have the 2500s or the three quarter ton trucks, let me say it right now, get it out of the way. A three quarter truck, three quarter ton truck will tow this bad boy right here better than a half ton truck. However, you can still tow with a half ton truck safely. But pretty much this is what you see, the 2800 uh, BH, it stands for 28 feet for the box, but all in, you're looking at about 32 feet. So 32 feet, I do feel sway. I'll give some video in the inside on how it feels, um, how you can control it, uh, different things of that nature. Again, there is a way to tow it safely, all right? There is a way to tow with a half ton truck safely, but there's some other factors that you need to pay attention to. Payload, that is a factor. If there's one limiting issue with this truck towing this rig is the payload. But we have a strategy that we're able to stay within all limits, stay safe, have enough uh, room and, and wiggle room to do what it is that we need to do. Uh, and we've taken it in several different places. When you have it properly equipped, you can do a great job, get to your destination in a reasonable amount of time, take it slow, you can get there safely. And so part of that safety piece is the, a good weight distribution hitch. This is something a lot of people don't understand when they're getting into the travel trailer world. We have a Blue Ox hitch. Uh, there's mixed reviews on it. For me, having a half ton truck, I think it does okay. But it works well for me, it works well for our family. We know what we're doing, we know how it reacts. And that's a big thing, guys. You have to understand how your vehicle, how your tow vehicle, as long as it is within the proper legal limits, understanding how that's gonna react and how it's gonna handle on the road when 18 wheelers pass, when you get a strong gust of wind, there's ways you need to know to react. And so, but everybody's different. Everybody does not feel comfortable with a half ton truck. Some people are like, there's no reason to have a three quarter ton truck. It's all on preference. But you want to make sure whatever you're doing you can be safe because it's not just about you on the road it's about all of those folks around you so there's things that we've gone through and that we've put in work on that will hopefully help someone else and again you can tow this safely with a half ton will a three-quarter ton truck be better absolutely there's no debate it will be a better towing vehicle for this rig but again you can tow it safely because everybody can't afford to get a new truck um, me personally i choose not to get a three-quarter ton truck right now because we are weekend warriors we are not full timers i don't want to have a three-quarter ton truck as my daily driver uh, and i do a lot of daily driving so um, this is important to me to make sure uh, that i had the best of both worlds now what i will say once my kids get older and when they start gaining weight and putting more things into the truck uh, then we'll be talking about a three-quarter ton but right now our strategy keeps us under payload it keeps us on where we need to be and um so this is what works for us okay trey i got this all right guys so headed out to the highway to do uh just to do a little test for you guys. Chose a day that has a little bit more wind than normal, which I think will be a good test for people to see. But the real test is gonna come in when we get on the highway and we get past those uh, the semis and different things going on there and the gusts of wind kick in and all of that. So as long as you have the right equipment on the truck, 392 gears, uh, it comes with the four corner air suspension with Ram. They've done a really great job with that. That just changes the dynamics of things. It does not inc increase your payload. It does not increase your payload. Um, it just helps with leveling, making sure the truck rides smoothly. Um, it's a really, really great addition. And then also with the plenty of uh, plenty of power, the V8 Ram just has a strong engine, so it's good. I know a lot of you F-150 EcoBoost lovers out there, I acknowledge that's a great truck as well. It is what it is, it's a great truck. I just like the Ram interior, it, it just made it better to me. Everyone can afford a three quarter ton truck. Um, it's just not in the cards. Everybody doesn't travel full time to where they can fully justify getting a three quarter ton truck. Um, and so sometimes people are stuck with the half ton trucks. Me personally, I choose, like I said earlier, I choose to drive with a half ton truck because I do more than just tow my RV. Uh, I, I tow a boat, I, I drive normal, I go to the grocery store. I just don't wanna have to 
drive a three quarter ton truck everywhere I go. But that's me. If you are a person who loves your three quarter ton truck, doesn't mind driving it, hey, more power to you. The one thing that needs to be universal is making sure you can tow in a way that's safe for everyone. If you can't do it in a way that's safe for everyone, that's problematic because now you're you're involuntarily putting other people at risk and that's not cool. And you have to remember when you are towing a trailer behind you, especially one that's 32 feet or longer, everything changes. Your, your timing needs to change, uh, the amount of time you give yourself to stop, to pull out, all of these things you have to add time. So right now we are getting onto the highway, accelerating. Uh, I am at about 47, 48, getting up to speed. The highway speed limit is 65. Uh, so I'm, I'm riding down uh, Interstate 40 and the wind is really, really whipping right now. So I've got another, I just passed a few uh, semis. I got another one coming up on my left. And I want you to pay attention to the back just to see what it does. See to the camper, what, what I mean, and just see how it moves. And I mean, just see how it feels, right? So right now I feel a little suction. And I feel the push, it's a little push. I feel a little bit of the drag. Nothing out of control, I knew it was coming. Uh, nothing that scared me. It, 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 nothing that took complete control out of the truck and it's still on my left. It's not like I'm fully past it yet. You know, and it is what it is and it moves on. And I continue, I'm still going 65. Um, at the onset of the truck coming up on me, I dropped my speed to 60 and then gradually let it include back up. Here's another semi coming. All right, so I can feel it. You can feel the sway a little bit. You feel that, you see it? All right, I can feel it. I see it was coming. I knew I had the draft from the truck ahead of me. There's one directly in front of me too. So right now I'm completely surrounded by semis. One in front, two to the side, uh, and one behind me. And so what do I do? I lower my speed because I lower my speed to make sure I can maintain control, doing it safely. There's a way to do this, guys. There's a way to do this, guys. You just have to be smart. Put your pride aside. Understand that there are certain limitations that you may have to face. Here's another semi coming. This one with more speed. You know, I'm good. Drop down to 60. I'm okay. I'm cruising. Here's another semi coming up on my left. You know, so now at this point, we're what? Dealing with, this is what, the third or fourth one? Now there's some sway there. You see it? You see it going back? You really felt that one. Every truck might have a different impact, right? But if you know the impact's coming and you know that you need to be prepared to make the adjustments, you can do it. It's when you think you can drive without any type of defensive mechanism, if you will, or without any type of proactive uh, movement or decision-making, that's when you make mistakes. And that's with any truck. I'm, I'm comfortable, I don't feel stressed, I don't feel tense, um, I'm in the right lane. All right, everybody doesn't agree that you have to stay in the right lane, but for me personally, hey, look, safety matters. I'm going 66 miles an hour right now. I'm in the right lane. I'm comfortable here. Uh, if I need to pull over, I have access to it. Um, I'm looking around, I'm checking my surroundings, making sure. Now look, here's a big 18-wheeler truck that's merging onto the highway. So for safety reasons, I'm gonna go over, right? And here we go, we're gonna pass by, you know, truck is getting up to speed so that's not a great example of potential sway opportunities now there's a gust of wind you can kind of see the back the trailer moving a little bit with that gust of wind I realize this is happening so I take my foot off the gas and let it coast a little bit making sure I have my trailer braking set I like to keep my uh, gain at five I think it's a good for this set for this setup your truck and your comfort level will vary okay but for this setup and for what I am doing um, when I brake, I can feel the trailer brake and it's a good balance. Very, very important. It is it is bouncy a little bit. Um, it's not out of control. It's not, I'm not tense again. I'm, I'm driving, I can drive with one hand. I'm good. I feel the, bus, the, the, the gust of wind. So it is there, guys. And these little shifts and things that you feel from the gust of wind that hit, you probably wouldn't feel it, at least not to this degree, in a three quarter ton truck. But is it unsafe? No because I realize the situation I'm in right now, okay? Um, and I also, in all fairness, like I would anytime I travel, drive the travel trailer, I check the weather. I made sure I know what the wind gusts are gonna be that I'm walking, that I'm driving into today. Very important. Preparation is key, guys. I'm rolling right now, 65. Wind is blowing. I can feel it pushing a little bit. 
Is it out of control? No. Is it dangerous? No. Um, am I well within my comfort zones? Yes. Um, are other and you can another another telltale sign you can have uh, is if you're making other people around you feel uncomfortable, you'll start seeing cars like fly off to other, to the other lanes outside of you, right? Um, when you start seeing that, then you need to start thinking, okay, I mean, is there something that's going on that I'm not tweaking enough? Am I not being considerate in my driving? Uh, the cars will tell you what they're feeling, if that makes sense. Uh, this is something that I wish people would have told me coming into a travel trailer. But there is a difference when you're towing a travel trailer this long and this tall. It's like a big sail or a, a big wall that just collects wind, right? So you have to understand, I'm not going to be able to wheel and deal and weave and, and make sharp sudden movements the same way I would if I didn't have anything behind me, guys. And so, again, these are limitations that you have to be aware of and ask yourself, am I willing to accept these limitations? One, and if so, am I willing or am I, are these limitations going to keep me from safely doing exactly what it is that I want to do, right? And then three, if you're, you're clearly comfortable, is are these limitations uh, going to put the rest of us at risk? The, meaning the rest of us, people around the vehicle, you know, and uh, guys, you can do this, man. I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable right now and it is windy. It is windy. I can feel it, but I also have the blue ox. I can see the blue ox is working. Uh, the, the weight distribution hitch. I'm comfortable. I feel safe. I still feel secure. I have no issue bringing my two kids, uh, and my wife with me, and we take trips. I mean, it, it's, I'm going up a steep hill right now. I mean, it's fine. I, I'm not in a rush, guys. At the end of the day, I'm driving a half ton pickup truck, pulling a 32 foot trailer, all in. Uh, even if I was driving a three quarter ton truck, I still would drive the exact same way. You have to understand being in a half ton truck, you're going to feel more. There's going to be more uh, factors and the conditions on the highway that you're going to have to be prepared to handle. That's just the reality because a three quarter ton truck will tow better. But it's not the end all be all, guys. It's just not. You can kind of look at the back, you can see that wind blowing. You can see I'm feeling it, right? But I'm not stressed. I'm not working. I. A lot of it is the mental piece. When you accept that, look, this is what I'm walking into, so I need to have the, the proactive measures and prepared countermeasures to deal with that, you know? And, and I think that's what it really comes down to. Are you willing to deal with the pushing and some of the other things that you're gonna feel? Um, I am. If the wind uh, factor is higher, I'm gonna be going slower. Now, when the wind gets to a point, and this is with any truck that you're driving, but especially with the half ton truck, if the wind gets to a point when you are driving significantly below the speed limit, now you're actually becoming a danger to those around you because you're actually going so slow. So if that's the case, guys, pull over. Adjust your trip, adjust your plans. Leave time into your, your trip to, to make sure you have things in line. The goal of this situation, the goal of all of this is to have a great time, get to your destination safely, make great memories, and not put people at risk. And then go about your business. You know, you're not gonna, unless you do something stupid, you know, just, just completely driving recklessly with with, dis, with complete disregard or any disregard for others around you, you know, you'll be fine. But I do not encourage you to go over your payload. Those folks that say, hey, send it. That's craziness. And it's extremely selfish because you're putting people on the road at risk. And I'm having fun, guys. That's the thing. I'm, I'm enjoying this experience right now. If I get fatigued, I stop. I pull over. I don't try to push through. Especially when you're towing. You can do this, guys. You can absolutely tow with a half-ton truck. A three-quarter ton truck will tow better. But everybody doesn't want one. Everyone can't afford one. And some people like myself just flat out choose to not have one right now because it doesn't fit my entire lifestyle. And I can do it safely and have the same memorable experience with my family, visiting wherever it is that we want to go as I would with a three quarter ton truck. As you can see, um, the half ton truck can do it safely. My temperatures were good. All the temps were good. Uh, nothing was high, it was normal. Um, ran well. Listen, we've done trips. We've taken it to the mountains. We've taken it to the beach. We've taken it long trips, short trips. The truck performs well. Now, 
this isn't an advertisement for, for Ram, uh, but I can honestly say these new Rams, I can't speak for any other truck because I haven't driven one. Um, that's a 2021 uh, to the extent that I've driven this, but this truck is a beast. It is a beast. The only downside, like I said earlier, with any half ton truck is the payload. If I am going to switch to a three quarter ton truck, which isn't out of the question for me, it will be only because of payload, not because of safety, not because of performance. It'll be only because of payload. But right now, like I said, we have um, a strategy to stay with under, under our payload. This is a limited, so it has all the options, so it's heavier. So my payload is low, it's 1400 pounds, and we have a strategy that we can safely and truly get under 1400 pounds it takes strategy now guys i'm not going to sit here and act like it's just hop in throw everything in and go the truck is almost empty um, outside of the bodies the kids and their tablets or whatever they're taking there but everything else goes into the travel trailer um and the tongue weight is balanced uh, it, it just works out really well for us for us but i can't stress enough guys make sure you are within your legal limit numbers your payload your gross weight all of that Guys, if you can't do that, let me be very clear. If you can't stay under your payload and do it safely, go to the three-quarter truck, three-quarter ton truck, or get a smaller trailer. That's just the reality. Airbags are not going to increase your payload. It will help with the ride and the leveling and the suspension, but guys, your payload is what your payload is. If you can do it safely, hey, seriously consider it. But if you can't stay within your legal limits, I can't say this enough. If you can't stay within your legal limits, don't drive a half-ton truck to tow this size of a trailer. All right. Hey, God bless you guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please subscribe.